and sometimes you may say i want a particular car i want a particular job and everything was good my qualification is best i stay in the same city as this company and my, I, I cleared all rounds of interview the last round is stuck my job is not coming because krishna threw that furniture away so and certain things may suddenly happen to you and you don't realize oh, why is it happening to me so krishna has taken part of our life so the equation is in krishna's hands the karma equation definitely works but when it will work and how it will work it is not in our hands it is in krishna's hands therefore what do devotees do and what do pandavas are really great because if you take that equation for example a pure devotee is free from all karmas then what is happening to parishit maharaj here he is already a great devotee but he has to face the heat of brahmastra and then you can take all the lives of pandavas you know here we are talking about uh, demigods being envious of the opulences of yudhishthir maharaj but read mahabharat where do you see yudhishthir maharaj being like a king and always enjoying opulences you no know, everything is happening nicely so pandavas is, if mahabharat is full of simply miseries after miseries miseries after miseries faced by pandavas and in fact kunti marani at the end says that let the miseries come again and again so the whole life is simply miseries but what is the difference what do we why is it happening in Pandava's life like this. Why is it happening in Parishit Maharaj's life this? Because Krishna wants to tell us something. What is it that Krishna wants to tell us? Let's try to understand through a few examples. First, one of the first misery that came in Pandava's life. When they were really very small, the father passed away. Uh, in a mystical way, the father passed away. As a as a obvious reaction to that incident, both Kunti and Madri they wanted to immediately enter into fire, right? They both wanted to go, go sati that was the obvious reaction and then ultimately madri was able to convince kunti kunti devi that you are more matured and more capable of handling children so you stay and i will enter into fire and then that time madri entered into the fire she went sati so what happened to kunti so as devotees we understand that she also entered into fire because taking care of five children without husband was not a less fire in its own in fact it was a much more difficult fire than the fire of funeral funeral pyre but she chose to enter into that fire right why because first when the husband immediately passed there was a reaction that behavior was a reaction but then there was a thoughtful action that followed that reaction and that thoughtful action was not a reaction that was a response so in our life we are always uh, put in situations where there are two choices in front of you can either react or you can respond what is the difference between reaction and response the reaction is prakrutik it is based on natural instinct a response is sanskrutik it is based on culture that you have gone through that you are trained that's the difference and a devotee always chooses to respond 